In today's lecture, we will start induction motor. In this course, we will cover two types of induction motor. One is three phase induction motor and another is single phase induction motor. We will start with three phase induction motor first. Then after covering the concept of three phase induction motor, we will start single phase induction motor. Let us start our today's class. At the very beginning, the question that appears in our mind, what is induction motor? And why induction motor is called induction motor? Those answers will be given time to time when I will describe the construction principles of induction motors. Let us start with three phase induction motor. This is the abbreviated form of three phase induction motor. As it's a motor that means it will take electrical input and will give mechanical output. As the name says, it is three phase, which means three phase electrical supply is needed to operate this induction motor. A three phase induction motor has two main parts one is a stationary stator and a revolving rotor. This rotor is separated from the stator by a small air gap and this air gap ranges from 0.4 mm to 4 mm depending on the power of the motor. There are some auxiliary parts for both stator and rotors. This is the exploded view of a three phase induction motor. This is the stator part and this is the rotor part. This is the fan which is attached with the motor for cooling purpose. At the very beginning, we will see the construction principle of stator part. The stator construction principle is same for three different types of machines. For example, three phase induction motor which we are covering. Then three phase synchronous motor finally three phase synchronous generator though we are covering the construction principle of uh, three phase induction motor but for the stator case the same principles can be used for synchronous motor as well as synchronous generators. The three phase electrical supply is connected with the stator. Before we see the construction, we need to know the characteristics of three phase current when it is connected with a balanced load. Suppose we have a three phase supply that is A, B, C. Which means this is phase A, this is phase B, this is phase C, and we have a neutral connection N, and that is connected with a balanced load. I hope all of you know about balanced load. These three phase things and loading things, balanced load, unbalanced load things were covered in your AC circuit course. This load may be del connected load or Y connected load. So whenever this type of load is connected, three currents will be flowing. These three currents will have same amplitude, same frequency, but different phase angle. The phase angle difference between A and B will be 120 degree, B and C will be 120 degree, and C and A will be 120 degree. In our household, one phase connection and one neutral connection is given. In many industries, this three phase supply is taken for running different types of three phase load, for example, three phase induction motor or three phase synchronous motor. These currents are sinusoidal in nature. Let us draw the approximate wave shape of these three currents that is passing through this balanced load. The x axis represents the time direction y axis is the amplitude of the current let us name the current that is passing through phase a 
as AIAA prime. This current will have sinusoidal shape in nature. This line represents the positive peak and negative peak of the wave shape. So we can name it IM, that means current maximum minus IM. Now, if we name the current that is passing through this phase B, then we can name it IBB prime. This IAA prime and IBB prime, they will have same amplitude same frequency however they will have 120 degree phase angle difference so the wave shape will look like again if we draw the wave shape of the current that is passing through phase c let us name that first i c c prime so that will have 120 degree angle difference from this blue one. So we can start drawing from here for our convenience. Then we'll extend. So this green color line is the wave shape for ICC current. We can name it ICC prime. This blue one is I b b prime and this red one is i a a prime and the equations for these three currents can be expressed as i a a prime equal to i m i m means the maximum amplitude so sine omega t i b b current we can see this uh, i b b prime is lagging 120 degree behind from that IA prime so I am sine omega t minus 120 degree and ICC prime equal to I am sine omega t minus 240 degree Now let us start constructing the stator of the phase induction mode. This is x axis and this is the y axis. Now suppose we are placing an iron core here in order to produce a magnetic. This is an iron core and we will make a solenoid. So we are giving a winding in this fashion. Continue the connection here. And we have another side. This phase is supplied by our phase A. That's why I'm drawing it by red color. So this is supplied from phase A. And this is our neutral point. So what will happen? This red wave shape current will be passing through this so this will be the direction of current when we'll have the positive wave shape and this will be the direction of the current so whenever we'll have this type of connections what will happen in between there will be a production of magnetic field and that will be alternating so whenever positive current will be flowing this side will be north and this side will be south and whenever opposite current will be flowing this side will be south and this side will be north 
for the time being let me remove this notation so if i draw the vector the vector will start from zero when we'll have zero current the vector will start from zero and that will be increased as the amplitude of the current increases so initially this will move in this direction in this direction this is the vector that shows the amplitude of the magnetic field as we saw in our previous lecture and again it will be decreased it will come back to zero it will be increased in the opposite direction for this negative side so here there will be a production of magnetic field and that will move in the back and forth direction on this x axis let us remove this portion for a clean drawing let us place another iron curve 120 degree mechanically apart from this x axis that means 120 degree mechanically apart from this first iron curve so if we draw a line another line from let us consider this angle as 120 degree from the x axis so this is the angle difference and this is minus 120 degree if you consider in the anti clockwise direction then from x axis this line will be 240 degree apart now let us place another iron core 120 degree mechanically apart from this first iron core so we will place it, it here and here this iron core will be supplied from phase b so let us take a supply from phase b and the other side will be connected with neutral for a positive side the current directions will be in this direction and in this direction so there will be a production of magnetic field which will be directed on this line so it will start from zero and it will be increased in this direction again will come back to zero for opposite current it will be increased in this direction in this way it will have a pulsating magnetic field on this line so there will be a magnetic field due to phase a that will be on the x-axis and there will be another magnetic field that will be on this line so this is for phase b so the resultant magnetic field inside this hollow part will be the summation of two vector field at every time instant we'll see what happens before that let us place another iron core which will be 240 degree mechanically apart from our first iron core so let us place an iron core here which is 240 degree apart mechanically apart from our first case And this core will be supplied by this phase C. This is phase C. This is the neutral part. For positive side, the current will be flowing in this direction. So this is the configuration of our stator. Let us complete the drawing. Just we are placing a circle here. So this is the complete constructional view of the stator 
or three phase induction motor or three phase synchronous motor or three phase synchronous generator this is the iron core and this question is the side view cross sectional view of the motor and inside this we have a hollow part to which we'll place our rotor which will be described in the later part now as we understand there will be a creation of magnetic field inside this hollow part due to this a phase b phase and c phase and the resultant magnetic field will be the summation of vector of each magnetic field at each time instant we'll calculate the resultant magnetic field inside this hollow part for different time instant and that will be done in the next lecture